Today we have reached the last session of this first series, Play with Piano, number 7. But I am sure we will continue with this type of instructional films. On the program of today we have two other pieces by Alexander Kretschaninov, On Winter's Eve and Thieves and Policemen. As usual, we will show you the cello parts with fingerings and bowings, but I simultaneously recommend to buy the music. It is really worth owning it. On Winter's Eve is a real true piece of music, not only some notes composed for the learning beginner. Let's have a look at the cello part. On Winter's Eve has two sharps. It looks like D major. It is actually B minor. B minor is the key our most famous concerto is written in, the Dvorak Concerto. So On Winter's Eve is in B minor as well. And in 2-4, two, two quarters in a bar, two beats in a bar, but you can think maybe in four in eight notes. Then, I mean, we'll go through it because of the fingerings. You see, in the last line, you see a fermata. Ignore it, please, because uh, we recorded it with the piano without fermata. Just count through and play on in time. Here, on Winter's Eve, we have to play cello. That means we have to change positions almost constantly. Let's go through it and look what happens. We start in the first position. Now we move a half step back into the half position. And now back into the first position. Back to the first position. Now, fourth position. Fourth position, third finger B on the D string. Now we slide back on the third to A. Now we slide a half step, half step back with a second finger on G. Now back to the first position, first finger E. Again in the fourth position. Same thing, slide with the third. But now we stay there. Now a half step back with the first and a slide from F sharp to Place the first by the second and play. Now a whole step back to F sharp D, and back to the first position. We know that already. Now into the half position and back in the first position. again. Whole tone back and back in the fourth position, sorry, fourth position. We stay there. Now second finger G. First position again. Half position. This is the fermata. We ignore now second finger G. And now extended fourth position to C sharp. And second finger B. That's it. If you want to play with expression, and you should do that, then you can experiment a little bit with a crooked bow. I explained the crooked bow in Beginners 5. So, 
don't hold it straight but a little you know the whole thing again you know the procedure you listen or you join me and then I'll leave you alone with me at the piano I wish you enjoyable time with me here's an A for your for tuning <laughs> Thank you. 
I really like this piece on Winter's Eve. Now let's have a look at the cello part of Thieves and Policemen right away. Thieves and Policemen is written in B flat major, two flats, and in 4-4, four, four, four beats in a bar. The rhythm we know, we can read the notes, it's simple, the structure is simple. The form, we have two parts and the second part, the longer part, is repeated. In this piece you don't have to change positions as often as in on Winter's Eve, but we still have to do it. But only from fourth to first and back. It starts in the fourth position. Now first, fourth. Continues in the fourth position. step back with your first finger and now first position again. Now the beginning, fourth position. You know that already. And so on. The stroke, the bow. I put down bows in. I mean you can play it uh, down bow, up bow, but I like down bows better. This is doubtlessly the policeman. Yeah. And then in the second part there is the thieves. Sneaking around, you know. you have to play loudly and softly. Make sure. Police, you know, and thieves. Now I'll play the whole drama. You listen or you join me and then as usual you're alone with the piano or your practice. Have fun. I give you two bars before. One, two, three. Four, one, two, three, and...
concluding, I repeat myself advising you to practice the pieces slowly and diligently over and over again until you can play them without stopping and without mistakes. Then speed them up. Then I promise you'll have fun playing them with piano. Thank you for your interest and I hope I'll see you again soon. Until then, take care and so long.